Nine lives seems like an awful lot until you think about how many lives Brady Heights has been through. This is Tulsa's oldest neighborhood. And many homes here have the historic markers to prove it. This is a actual Sears Craftsman uh, bungalow. Just one of the dozen homes that will be on display during the neighborhood's first home tour in two years. The whole feel of the neighborhood is this cool, vibrant, urban, downtown neighborhood. Tim Williams has revamped 13 houses and two buildings in the area, including the one he's standing in now. This building really probably should have been torn down. But Instead, Tim transformed this hanging on for dear life mess into this, the new home of his catering business. A kitchen that can cook for thousands, but should he want to eat at home for lunch? It's true, I live right down the street, <laughs> just uh, four blocks away. Another thing getting as hot as Tim's kitchen, property values. Ran into a friend the other day that asked me, do you still own that house over there? And I was like, well, that was a good, good, good buy. But one of the not so good things lately has been the baggage linked to the Brady name. I don't think anybody in the neighborhood feels right about the accusations or what, what the alleged aspects of Tate Brady's life were. And yet, while the neighborhood may look the same as it did in Brady's time, what's on the inside is considerably different. The irony is that the person who allegedly was the biggest bigot from that era, although I'm certain that it was probably an equal amount, his neighborhoods, his namesake, has become this melting pot.